I thought it was going to be. But um, wow, here we are. We are going to jump right into this today because... I find many of us, including myself, have a hard time spending time alone. Now that has shifted tremendously for me as I've gotten more comfortable being at home, but I know so many of us struggle being in solitude as we like being around people, right? We like being social, but as soon as we know that we're gonna be by ourselves, we're like, like cringing and we're like, what are we gonna do? Or I'm gonna get so in my head and I get really anxious and all of these mind running, experiences and feelings come to the surface when you know you're going to be by yourself and many of us go on to distract ourselves in ways that aren't actually as productive as we think even if we do the laundry and the dishes and sometimes those are great but if we're intentionally doing it to distract ourselves um, it can be robbing us of our creativity and what can really come into fruition when you are in moments of solitude so i'm going to give you my tips that i use when I am by myself, I need a drink, I am out of breath. Oh look, and I just spilled. <laughs> oh, I will never escape this. Let's get comfortable in our own skin here, find comfort in solitude, and explore the self-connection we can have ourselves with ourselves when we are by ourselves. So, let's do it. Yes, I do bring my water everywhere. I like to stay hydrated. And you know what? When I'm by myself, I like to make things more fun. That is honestly like rule number one, not step number one, but like the rule. It is about having fun and experiencing play. So, and that's like putting your water in a mason jar because it's more fun than a regular glass. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyways, step number one, when you are going to be by yourself and you have like nothing particularly that you have to do, but just enjoy yourself. Step number one is ask your body what it wants. Ask it what it needs right now. That could be to relax or what we have a, we have cats playing back here. Um, getting curious about, okay, what does he, she, them need? right now in this moment like what is my heart really wrenching for right now does it want to watch this show does it want to relax does it want to i've been thinking about this poetry thing i've been thinking about this comedy skit that i want to write down and it's like those are great opportunities to step into what your body is needing after being distracted by external circumstances and all the conditioning of the world and so step number one is asking your body what it needs you know, there's also a really big piece to this, and that is trusting yourself. When you ask your body what it needs, what it wants right now, trust it. Trust that little whisper of a voice. If there's something loud in there and it's like, you need to do the dishes, you need to do that, it's like, okay, that's coming from doing and completing and accomplishing. And yes, there's things that we need to do, but in those moments of solitude, what can, what's that little whisper? The whisper comes from a loving place. See, that's the difference, is there's one yelling at you, telling you what you need to do, what this needs, what needs to be done, da da da. The whisper is loving, and the, the thing that feels loving, that's the one. That's the one you wanna listen to. <sighs> so, then step number two, is then setting the intention of what you're going to do with that time and space. But let's first identify what an intention is. It is a clear statement slash mantra that represents what you wanna get out of an experience. An intention is about the present moment and will be carried through the entire experience. And in order to really embody that intention, we wanna put it out there, whether that's on paper or saying it out loud. So I intend to allow my mind and body to relax. I intend to explore what is relaxing for me. I intend to allow myself to play and really embody the experience as it is because that statement is a path you intend to align with. I know that our mind is pretty good about drifting off and being like, oh, you need to do this. Oh, you need to do that. But when we spend time alone, it's not always about doing, it's about being. So we're gonna set the intention of we're going to relax. We are going to play. We are going to set the intention to do the thing that we are here to do. 
And when our mind begins to wander, we are going to come back to the mantra of, I, set, I have set the intention to relax. And when you notice, you become aware that you are going into this cycling mind of, oh, you can't relax, you can't do this. We're going to allow those thoughts to be there and come back to our intention, okay? And remind ourselves of how we are choosing to spend this time and space. Number three is we're going to drop the expectation of what we're supposed to do, what we should be doing. We are going to, like I said before, remind ourselves of that mantra and lead with that and get curious with what we can do in that time and space with that relaxation, with that play time, um, really intentionally leading with that in a curiosity and play mindset. Write, create, draw, um, see, watch, you know, just simply allowing yourself to be without this expectation to even get something out of it because a lot of times when you allow yourself to play and you just kind of like literally like this like loosen your grip the best ideas come from that experience your most inspiring and authentic ideas come from that place rather than what you should be doing even with my videos i very much loosen my grip when i'm creating my videos and it feels more authentic, it feels more genuine whenever I do those things. And when I'm in solitude moments, those are usually when I create best because there's no external circumstances telling me and the only thing that's really telling me is my head. And so when I can redirect it, come back to that intention and loosen my grip, things start to come to the surface. It opens, ooh, it cracks open your heart, it cracks open that curiosity and you get to see like, ooh, wow, like I actually really like taking baths. Oh, I really like taking the time to watch this YouTuber. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm silly. Um, I really taking, I really enjoy taking the time to write down what my experience is like. And I mean, heck, if you're experiencing some resistance too, it's cool to, Sit down and write it out with no, again, no expectation to what is going on in your space. It's just to simply be and explore yourself, explore what you can create, who you can be, how you can show up in a space being by yourself without needing somebody to lean on because it is ultimately so freaking powerful to be able to be by yourself and it can really transcend to getting more comfortable being yourself around other people when you do this over and over again. And so, really cool experience to lead with these three things when you are spending time by yourself. So to recap all of that, uh, we are going back to asking your body what it needs. What does he, she, them need in this moment that's going to, to thrive? And if you're hitting this, I don't know, um, start with the first thing that comes to mind. Number two, set the intention. Set the intention of what you want to do with your time and space. So you've decided you're gonna relax. So I'm going to set the intention, I set the intention to allow my body to relax in this time and space. Write it down, say it out loud, remind yourself as you go into that resistance because it will come up, it will come up. And allow that resistance to be there experience it allow it to flow through your body don't shame it don't push it away allow and come back to your mantra three lastly and probably most importantly no expectations get curious on, on who you are explore allow yourself to explore and try different things and um, this takes time this is something that you will, will be doing over and over again. All of us spend time alone at some point, like oh, every day, likely. <laughs> Maybe unless you have kids, that's a bit different. But <laughs> allowing yourself to get curious in those moments, and even if it's just a little period of time, 30 minutes, an hour, you can do all three of those steps to help you get curious and self-explore on your interest and who you are. Because it's in your solitude where you learn a lot of that.
give yourself the space to be. There's no expectation on how you need to spend this time, what you should be doing, what you need to be doing. The only thing that you need to be doing is exactly what you want to be doing. And sometimes that's hard. Sometimes that's hard to do. But when we make space, move our body, and allow the energy to move as it is, we can really embrace and accept ourselves as we are. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, I love you.